What's happening? This your boy Keenan. Yeah, you know what's up. Keenan just felt like cooking. You know, fresh home from work. Just got out the shower. Uh, you know, and I'm like, man, what can I whoop up real quick? What can I throw together? So you know what time it is. Time for another snack of jizz. Check this out. So this is how I'm gonna get it started. I got two tablespoons of butter right here. As you can see, I got that melting up. I like to let my butter brown a little bit before I get to working with it. So I'm going to let some of that water evaporate so I can get that nice butter taste. It's a little tip for those who didn't know that. Alright, so what I got next is, I got this, this is about a quarter of a white onion that I diced up. I'm definitely going to add it to that butter and I'm going to get it sauteing up just until they start turning color. And into that, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of this minced garlic. Yeah, this stuff is on point, fresh out the jar. Don't fall asleep on that. And what I'm going to put... What I'm going to put in it is something that a lot of people don't know what to use. A lot of people see this in the store and be like, I'm not eating it. But I'm about to, for those who didn't know, this is good. And as you can see, it says America's number one selling hash. Hash. Okay. But I'm going to show you how to put it together. This is how I learned how to do it. And then I put my own little twist on it. Check it out. So I got that teaspoon of minced garlic in here. I'm just going to go ahead and stir this up. Nice and fragrant. Love this smell right here. This is one of my favorite smells when I'm cooking. And some good sauteed onions and garlic. Alright, so as you can see, the onions are starting to turn a little bit brown. Get a little color to them. I don't want my garlic to burn. So on to the hash. So I added about two tablespoons of some oil in here. About two and a half tablespoons. And you want a little bit of oil in here because you don't want your hash to stick. And uh, I got this bad boy open, and as you can see, it's not too appealing looking when you first glance at it. But this is really good. Like I said, America's number one selling hash. Hash. Alright, so we're going to add this to this and see how much I can get out without burning myself. Okay, that ain't gonna work. Hold on. Back in a minute. Alright, so I got the hash in here. We're just gonna break this up just like you do ground beef, basically. Cook it like you're doing ground beef for tacos. That's how you do it. So I'm gonna get this cooking up, keep it moving until it starts to uh, form a crust on it. And then we're gonna keep it rotating so it can be nice and crispy on the outside exterior and then nice and creamy and good on the inside exterior. Alright, we're going to let a little bit of this moisture cook out too. It's going to evaporate and uh, we'll be back in a minute. So this hash has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. Let me let you check it out. So as you can see, we got a little bit more color on there. You know, you just work it around so you don't get any stickage. But uh, yeah, you see it's getting crispy. So that's what I'm going to add to it. So that's what I'm going to use to mix with this corned beef hash. These are some farm fresh eggs that was given to us. And uh, it's pretty cool man. Look at the different shades of egg in there. You think all eggs are white or brown like that. But as you can see they're not. Alright so I'm going to crack up about 8 of these bad boys. And get them mixed up with this hash. So I got these eggs here. I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle them with some of this Goya. Oh yeah, the perfect seasoning. Love this stuff. And we're just going to put a little bit in there. It's about a good two tablespoons. And then to that, you're going to add about a tablespoon of powder, uh, black pepper. Yeah. So we get these mixed up and we're going to get them in the skillet. So I got these eggs added. We're just going to go ahead and scramble this up in here. Keep it moving. We got the heat turned down low so we can get them eggs nice and soft. I don't want them, this is not a hard scramble. I want them nice and fluffy. So you want to keep them moving during the cooking process. There's different methods of cooking eggs. Everybody got their own. I ain't knocking it. This is just what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to keep this moving, babysitting it, making sure my eggs get nice and fluffy. Then we're going to be back to eat. Back in a minute. 
So we got this bad boy scrambled up. As you can see, low heat, eggs, potato, corned beef, hash. America's number one southern hash. So now I got this done, I'm not just going to eat it like this. Check out what I'm going to eat it on. Oh yeah, back in a minute. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use to eat this corned beef hash. I'm taking some of this 14 month age Parmesan. I use that in my crab ragoon hand pie video and it is good. So what are we going to do with this? We're going to put a little bit on here and just fan it out. Use precaution kids. And we're just going to, we're going to let that melt, melt a little bit, right? But while it's melting, placing this corn tortilla over it. And uh, I'll be back with some flippage. Yeah, back in a minute. All right, so I got this bad boy flip. As you can see, cheese is nice and melty. Um, you know, nice little thin layer of cheese. Instead of sprinkling cheese all in the mix and then making it stiff up, you know, you could do it like this. Quick little quesadilla. Little quesadilla. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and let this toast up on the other side. Let it get nice and pliable. And uh, I'm going to whoop up a few more. Then we're going to get us a little taco going. That's right, snackages. So while this other one is cooking, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna show you how your boy is gonna do it. You know, something real quick. You know, people buy this stuff in a can and be like, I don't know what to do with it, and they just sit up there and then they forget about it. But uh, yeah, something real quick and simple. You could do it for breakfast. Lunch, brunch, or like I'm doing it for dinner. Let's get a bite. It's amazing how good something could come out that most people ignore. I mean, it's amazing. This is so good, and I know a lot of people probably pass it up and think it look like dog food or something. But I'm telling you, take it from your boy. This is good when you do it right. Season your eggs. I think that's the, the biggest part. Some people don't, but season your eggs with some seasoning. Get another bite. Mmm. Mmm. All right. This is your boy Kenny. Once again, whipped up another snack of eggs. All right. Be sure to check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love.